Welcome to International Home and Garden Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Bellavo, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. We are on the Celebrity Super House stage here at the International Home and Garden Show with Lynn Spence. Tell me all about what you're doing here at the show. Well, I, I'm, I have an opportunity to come and speak both a Friday and a Saturday, and I talk about decorating a home. And this particular time, I'm talking about decorating these new renovations, these open concept rooms that people are totally daunted by. And I really want to help people figure out how they can make a huge room look warm and inviting and cozy and actually cohesive at the same time. That seems to be the big problem with a lot of folks that try this venture. It is, because once you remove the walls, you've removed the natural demarcation as to what is a dining room and what is a living room. Now you could be a designer by what you just said. That is the biggest problem, is lack of delineation. Mm -hmm. So then you have to put it back. You do that with rugs and you do that with furniture placement, which is the best thing to do. So I like to divide a room into if I've got a kitchen, then there should be an eating area directly beside it, and then a comfortable sitting area. Because I want to see what my kids are doing, and if I have friends in, and they're all sitting around the fireplace or watching TV, I still can be part of that con the conversation and what's going on socially, so that I'm not stuck in a kitchen somewhere. What are some of your tricks, and uh, uh, tricks of the trade, if you will, for dividing the space? Well, first of all, I want a canvas. So I tend to make the walls fairly light and neutral. That doesn't mean that they have to be white or beige, but they can be pale pearl grays or, or bluey grays. They can be washes of green. Something that literally pulls the whole room together and then I start to divide. So I divide my dining area with a rug, generally so that it is vertical and following the line of the kitchen and it still maintains the integrity of what's going on in the kitchen. That's the trick also. If I've used some white in the kitchen and some pine or whatever, that's going to come into the dining area. Maybe there's a touch of red. It, it should follow through. It's like dressing. Right. That's what it is. And then when I go into the family room, again I delineate with a great rug that is not the same rug, but a complementary rug. And it's large enough, again, to fill up a fair bit of the space. Now, many, many people say, I just spent a lot of money on that hardwood floor. Right. But this is going to save your floor. Mm -hmm. This will last forever this way. And it also warms up the space. And then what I do is that I make sure that the furniture is not just for, it's not there for show. It's comfortable, it's inviting, and it functions according to the needs of the family. So if you've got three kids and yourself and you all love to be together to watch TV, mm -hmm. there should be comfortable seating, but there should be extra seating in case you actually have guests. We are standing in a beautiful set right now. Yes. Who is all the furniture this provided is all by? This from Cornerstone, and I happen to live in the little town of Cambridge in Galt, and I discovered them on the Main Street one day several years ago, and they are my go-to people now because they have embodied classic, beautiful shapes with contemporary fabrics. They have something for somebody who is downsizing and somebody who's starting out. And so their sizes are not necessarily for a large home. They're for every size and shape of a home. And I think that that's the kind of story that people should be looking for, is something that's very suitable for their family and their lifestyle as they grow. I would, you know, the best, um, I think the best advice I could give to somebody is buy the best that you can afford. Don't buy for the sake of filling up space. I'd rather you sit on a beautiful rug and your television there until you're ready to buy a really good sofa. Buy once and enjoy forever. And I mean, I think about many people have said to me, I have my grandmother's dining set and it's still beautiful. All I did was that I updated the chairs. So to me, I, I still think that fine art, uh, modern art, is a great investment. It will never go out of style, but you must love it. Whatever you buy, you must love it. I'm Emmanuel Bellavo, and remember, there's no show too big for Exhibit Showcase. <laughs>